So the film that we chose to do our project on was The Graduate and the key elements discussed was light and camera angles. The scene that we chose was the one with Ben and Mrs. Robinson arguing about whether Ben is good enough for Mrs. Robinson's daughter. Mrs. Robinson was trying to leave when Ben began to apologize for yelling at her and telling her he does enjoy the time they have together. You wouldn't? Of course I wouldn't. What are you doing? Well, it's pretty obvious you don't want me around anymore. Well, look, uh, I was kind of upset there. I'm sorry I said those things. It's all right. I think I can understand why I'm disgusting to you. Well, no. look, I like you. I wouldn't keep coming here if I didn't like you. But if it's sickening for you? It's not. I enjoy it. I look forward to it. It's the one thing I have to look forward to. You don't have to say that. Well, I wouldn't. I would never say it if it wasn't true. So in the beginning of this scene, the light is pretty brightly shown on Ben's face and you can see it fairly clearly as the shadows are cast to the side. However, you can't really see Mrs. Robinson's face. During this point, Mrs. Robinson and Ben are arguing about Ben being good enough for her daughter. Ben is exclaiming that he thinks he is and he is very upset that she dared cl dares claim such a thing, even if she says she didn't. The lighting could symbolize the idea that Ben is being true to himself and showing his true feelings and true self during this part of the scene. He truly does want to be with Elaine, Mrs. Robinson's daughter. This is why his face is completely shown because he is completely showing himself. In this part of the scene, the camera has zoomed out of Ben, making him look very small against the plain wall. All that is visible of Miss Robinson is her legs as she puts on her tights. She is portrayed in a sexy manner as she slides her tights over her legs. This represents how she has all the power with her seduction and sexual appeal. This scene almost portrays her as a femme fatale and Ben as a small innocent boy, which is pretty accurate. Miss Robinson is preying on a young man freshly out of college, not knowing his place in life and using him for sex. In the second half of the scene, Ben's face is completely engulfed in shadows and you can't see it at all. <clears throat> but you can clearly see Mrs. Robinson and she is in a bright white scene, completely fl fluorescent. It's kind of ironic. Mrs. Rob Robinson almost looks angelic with the bright lights and white color taking over the scene because Mrs. Robinson has nothing but negative effects on Ben. During this part of the scene, Ben is being apologetic and reassuring Mrs. Robinson that he does enjoy spending time with her. However, when you listen to him, Ben sounds very emotionless and closed off. The dark shadows on his face could symbolize the notion that Ben is blocking himself off and hiding his true feelings from Mrs. Robinson and lying about liking spending time with her. Uh, in the next part of the scene, Ben's face is taken taking up most of the screen, even if you can't see it clearly. He looks big compared to the petite Miss Robinson sitting on the bed. She looks small and innocent, yet she is smiling, enjoying the fact that Ben is saying that he enjoys spending time with him. Her. Her, sorry. This shows that Ben has the power in this part of the, of the scene. He is taking control of the situation with what I believe is deceit. That's why he is so prominent in the frame and Miss Robinson looks so small. <laughs> 